Do you want to spear everyone, but Blizz still makes you explode them to death? Then welcome to Quix, the place where you will learn how to be the carpet bomb disposal with your special survival hunter. As the survivor, like many other classes, your goal will be to generate, focus and spend it on consumers plus bombing your enemies. Your main and only focus generator will be kill command. It will have two charges and will command your pet to damage your target with a 25% chance to reset its cooldown. Your wildfire bombs will not consume or generate focus, but thanks to some talents like Guerrilla Tactics, Wildfire Infusion and the tier set will hit like a truck and will be a must use. Your focus spenders will start with Serpent Sting, a good dot that can be casted from 40 yards away and should be a must to maintain on at least your main target. Next you'll have Raptor Strike, your bread and butter single target heavy hitter. Carve is next and will be your AoE consumer that will reduce the cooldown of wildfire bomb based on the number of enemies hit. And finally, like all other hunters, you have access now to Kill Shot. It's the hunter's personal execute that you can use when the target is at or lower than 20% HP. As a survivor hunter, your mastery spirit bond will increase yours and your pet's focus spending ability damage by 13% baseline and it will cause both of you to regenerate 1% maximum health every 5 seconds when your pet is active. Unfortunately, because this expansion is all about the bombs, you'll have to do your best to avoid the mastery stat as it does nothing to your bomb's damage and orients yourself to other stats. That's partially it for survival passives. Like all other hunters, you will gain one more passive depending on your pet specialization. You can get Predator's Thirst from your Ferocity pets, usually the best out of the three for the self-sustain you gain because of the 10% leech it provides. Endurance training will be given by Tenacity pets, increasing both yours and your pet's HP by 5%. Or you can go with the Cunning pet for the Pathfinding passive to increase both your and your pet's movement by 8%. Your cooldowns will start with a coordinated assault one. On a 2 minute recharge time, it will increase both yours and your pet's damage dealt by 20% on top of increasing the chance of kill command to reset by 25%, synergizing very well with your tier set. Next up, you'll have Aspect of the Eagle. This time with a 1.5 minute cooldown, it will transform your Raptor Strike into a range ability for a short while, perfect for when you have to do mechanics that take you out of melee. Switching to your defensive cooldowns, Aspect of the Turtle is one of the strongest you can have. On a 3 minute recharge time, it will deflect all attacks against you, including spells, and you're basically immune. And it will reduce all damage you take by 30% if you have some dots already on you. And finally, you have access to Exhilaration, your personal OH SHIT button that you will press when the screen turns red to heal yourself for 30% HP and your pet to full. Survival is a fairly easy spec to pick up. It brings consistent single target damage that suffers very little from downtime thanks to the aspect of the eagle as said earlier, and very strong strong AoE buffed further by your tier set. Your defensives and self-sustain are very powerful as talked about them earlier in the cooldowns and passive section and add to those survival of the fittest, your tenacity pet ability that will reduce all the damage you and your pet take by 20% or your feign death ability that will protect you from abilities that can target you. Your mobility again is very good. You have access to aspect of the cheetah, disengage, harpoon and your cunning pet passive ability as said earlier. Dungeons and Raids will want you for your huge utility belt, bringing Primal Rage to the table, another way of naming Bloodlust, Hunter's Mark to prevent the enemies from going invisible, Flare that does that as well, you have access to Intimidation, your personal single target stun, Tar Trap for AoE slow, Wing Clip for single target slow, and Freezing Trap to incapacitate a target. And let's not forget Misdirect, your tanks will love you for that, or Tranquilizing Shot for dispels and enrage clears, and all the pet abilities which we will not get into as there are too many. But long story short, your pets can dispel, slow, reduce healing and so on. You do have some cons as well. The lack of single target bursts can be punishing sometimes. You rely on your pets to generate resources or do a lot of damage and if it gets stuck, it sucks as you have to resummon it. And you don't have a combat res, forcing you to potentially take up engineering in high level keys. Hope you like the quick guide on how to be Bear grills in the wilderness of World of Warcraft with your survival hunter. When venturing out into the wilds, take this talent build to help you in every situation. It will be even better when you get your tier set. For more details on covenants, rotation, legendaries and much more, do check out our main survival guide on this channel. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.